Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of our hot bars slash updated key and door system tutorial. Um, so in the first part we made our hot bar in the corner and some functions to pick up and remove items. Um, but in this episode we'll be making the actual key and door system and I'll be showing you sort of how to use the things we learned in the last video. Um, so this is what you have by the end of it. You have items that you can pick up, they go into your hotbar, and you can use them to open doors. Great. So this is what we made last time. We made these four functions here. And all I've done since then is I've just added in a sprite, a way to move our sprite, and a tile map here. And I've just got our locations where our doors will be. Right, actually, I'll just make those walls like that. So you can't walk through them. And make sure these doors are set to walls as well. And I just put in two locations for our keys to spawn. Um, the other thing I've done is I've made tiles for the unlocked door. So here we've got our lock door. I've just got a, a block with a lock on it. And then I've made the same thing, but without a lock, just, just to represent it's unlocked, um, which just makes it a bit easier for the person playing the game to tell what's happening. So here's our two doors and our two keys, and we've made a tile for each unlocked door as well. Brilliant, so let's get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do is, oh, put it down here. We've got our key, where we want our keys to spawn here, but we haven't done anything about it. So we're going to make a function called create keys. Um, most of you would have done this already um, in some other project. So I'll just do it for the first time and then I'll just copy paste it for the second one. So I'm for element value of in scene. Uh, array of all locations. And I'll just check the one we want for our read key. We're going to Set, what the name of this? Oh, there we go, it's over there. Red key, set red key to sprite and have I made one? I have. There we go. There's a red key sprite. Sprite red key of kind key. Uh, you might have to click add a new kind and type in the key. Just like this. There we go. So we're making a sprite of kind key. Um, the next thing we'll do is go into extensions. And you're looking for sprite mm. utils. Oh, sorry, uh, sprite data. This one here, arcade sprite data. So import this one here. Brilliant. So this will be under sprites. And we're going to scroll down right to the bottom. And you want to get this set item data to string. This one here. And we're going to set read key data name. So the key's name is going to be read. Um, notice I've done this in all caps. This is just so I remember that that's what it is. And it's easier for me to call it again later. Next, we're going to go into scene. And place read key on top of value. And just make it blend with the background with the floor tile, set that at value as well. And I'm just going to copy paste this and just do the same for the blue key here. Blue key, thank you, key, set the name to blue, blue key. Blue key. There we are. And make sure we go into our on start block and call the function here. Easy peasy. So if we go down here, our two keys are here. They are sprites now, so we can you can see you can see they're above us, um, but we can't pick them up yet. So our next piece of code will be how to pick up the item and add it to our toolbar. So we go down here. 
I'm going to go to sprites and get this one sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind key like that. We're going to destroy other sprite. So we'll destroy the key. In, in a, one of the functions we made, we're going to add item The name will be, if we go down here, scroll down till we find item data as string. It will be other sprite data name. Oh, whoops. Let me grab that over there. So this is going to get the name of the sprite we touched. So that's what we set up here. So we set this one to blue and this one to red. The other sprite data name as string and then my image for the image we'll go down and we'll get the my sprite image and drag other sprite in there so it's going to add the name the name and image of the other sprite to our hopper so we'll do that now if i walk over the red key it adds the red key to my hopper and if i walk over the blue key it's the blue key to my hotbar. Our doors don't do anything yet. Let's see if I walk over them in a different order, they'll pop up in that order I pick them up. Wait. Um, the next thing we're going to do is unlock the door when we pick up the key. So when I pick up the red key, I'll unlock the red doors. So if, and then we'll get this text equals one here copy this if the other sprites name is red which is what i set it to up here so if the other sprites name is red then for value of array of all locked red locations so make sure it's the locked one here we are going to set wall off at value, just like that. So if I touch the red key, all the red locations, the locked red locations, will have no wall there. And we'll copy paste that, change this to blue, and set this to the locked blue locations. Easy peasy. So now once we pick up the key, we can walk through any locked red location. But I can't walk through the blue ones until I get the blue key. And now I can walk through the red and the blue locations. Don't get stuck. There we are. Uh, so the next step is to make it use up our key. Let me go over this red tile. So in scene, on sprite of kind player overlaps a locked red tile. Then, in scene again, you're going to get this set in the unlocked red tile at location. And another function, a remove one, remove item red like that. So now, if I pick up the red key, walk over the red location, not if I don't get stuck, there you go, see it sets this to unlocked and removes my key. So if I copy paste this again, nice and easy, we can just keep copy pasting things, set this to blue, and it's to the locked blue one, type blue in here. You will now have a completed key and door system, where you can pick up our keys, and walk through the doors. If I only pick up the blue key, for example, I can't walk through the red location until I get the red key. I can walk through. If I get the red key and not the blue key, I can walk through this one, but I can't go through the blue one because I don't have the blue key. So oh, if I get stuck, I can go back, get the blue key. My sprite's too big. There we are.
So this is your working key and door system. So in part one, we made these four functions. And in part two, we added our keys, made a way to pick up our keys, and we go our keys. So there we are, you're all done. Um, eventually, we'll make a how to share your games one. So if any of you make a game um, using this, feel free to send it to us. And we'd love to see it. Thank you. See you.